And I don't even have no expectations. I've been burned, I've been hurt, yeah. Hey Diamonds, I'm back with the video. I'm gonna be doing this um, pretty ombre with the 3D look. I'm gonna be using the Valentino Soft Touch and this nude color that I love from Valentino. I'm doing a coffin style shape. I went out to get this practice hand because um, I cannot practice on anybody else because of quarantine. So um, I was able to find this beauty supply store open. Yay! So I'm um, working on my ombre here. I put the ball of the soft touch. And now I'm going to start with my first ball of nude. Forgive me because um, it took me a while to get used to the hand. Um, it's very stiff but I did what I could so I laid down the the first uh, bead of the nude and I'm trying to blend it as best and as seamless as possible to the um, soft touch by Valentino and now my cuticles are flooding with acrylic but just make sure on a real person you don't um, you know get um, acrylic on the, the cuticles so with the ombre look you want to make sure that you encapsulate it with krill, uh, clear acrylic so that way um, when it comes time to file you don't file off the ombre or the um, the fade effect remember to take your time when you're um, applying your acrylic because it's easier to get the shape you want while the acrylic is wet than filing off the acrylic um, you know that the acrylic is ready to file once you hear this noise with your acrylic. That's when you know it's the perfect time to go ahead and file your, start filing your nails. Now don't forget to get your side out your side walls and your free edge just to get that perfect snatched look. <laughs> And guys, I swear to you, this is one of my favorite steps just to make, you know, just to, if you want to be extra and go the extra mile for your client, make sure you file around the cuticles because I'm going to repeat myself, but it makes it look, the nails look super dainty and seamless. And I mean, it just looks really nice when and put together when you file the cuticle down and blend it, like blend it down to the natural nail. Always dust off um, all the excess dust. And look at the little cute buffer that I got. So cute. I got it off of Amazon. I'll link, I'll link it down below for you guys. And you're going to get um, alcohol and wipe down the nail to take off any, any dust. Now here I'm grabbing my organic, I think it's a number six brush. And I'm putting a white acrylic and I'm gonna make a uh, three three petaled flowers and I'm using the ultra white by organic acrylic and what I'm using is the monomer with half monomer and half acetone so that way it can set a little quicker which is what I find that works best for me when I do um, the 3d method
Okay, so at first I thought I was going to keep the flowers like normal, but I decided to add some um, leaves to make it look super cute. And I'm using um, this green acrylic, I believe it's called Jade by Glam and Glitz. Um, and I'm going to add two little leaves and I'm using a cuticle pusher just to mark like the veins for the leaves. So that, uh, to make it a little bit more realistic to give you, you know, that extra bougie, uh, go the extra mile, um, look. And now for my favorite part, the bling part. I instantly regretted it though, like after, well not instantly, like after I finished the set, I kind of wish I would have added AB crystals instead of just regular clear crystals, you know, to give it that little oomph, that little oomph, oomph, whatever you call it. Um, but, you know, using my big bondini glue, my tried and true, um, I'm still trying to work with the Zule. I really love it, but it's a little bit too thick to my taste. And, um, that bottle was like 15 bucks. No, it was like 10 bucks. So, um, I'm using my big bondini here. And I really love this glue. So, this is another favorite step of mine. When you add the clear gel top coat, you like the Kruto gel? <laughs> okay, and that's me trying to be Angelina Johnson. So you're gonna grab that um, glaze and go from NSI. I love this gel polish, and you're gonna put it under the lamp for 60 seconds. With the power of editing, it'll be like three seconds for you guys. <laughs> so, yeah. And I know this is a practice hand, but you know, practice makes perfect. We're gonna add the cuticle oil and a light massage to your client so she can enjoy her experience. Um, and there goes the final look, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.